Hello, welcome. Try this problem out and press pause and try it out and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so what does this say? It says the log of a divided by the log of b equals the log of a divided by b. And this is written just as log of a, for example. That really means we're dealing with the log base 10 of a. So if you don't see a base written down here, the implied base is 10, and it's called the common logarithm. So here we're dealing with the common logarithm, and that's powers of 10. So I want to test this thing out and see if it's going to work for all values of a and b, just to get a sense if this is correct. Now let's start by saying what the answer is. This is, in fact, false, right? This is not always going to work. How do we know that? Well, we can come up with a quick counterexample. If we do the log of, let's say, 10 to the third, and we divide it by the log of, let's say, um, 10 to the first. Just using order of operations, that would be 3 divided by 1, right? 3 to what power is 10 to, 10 to what power is 10 to the third? That's 3. And 10 to what power is 10 to the first? It's just 1. So this side of the equation right here equals 3. But what if we did the log of a divided by b? We'll see it's not going to be the same. So that's going to be... 10 squared because 10 to the third divided by 10 to the first is actually just 10 squared and that just equals 2. So this side of the equation right here equals 2, right? And this side of the equation equals 3. Those are different numbers. And just to clarify what the true law or correct law would be here, the true statement would be, let's say you have log of a divided by b. That equals the difference of the log of a and the log of b. Now this just goes right back to laws of exponents. Uh, logs count the x, or excuse me, logs deal with the exponents of exponential terms. So this is just relating the idea if you have, let's say, 10 to the third, and you divide by 10 to the first, that equals 10 to the third, uh, that equals 10 to the 3 minus 1. We subtract the exponents. So if you're dividing two powers of 10, you subtract the exponents, and this law of logs is telling us to do that. If you're looking for the log of a quotient of two numbers, subtract the exponents, and it gives you the same thing. So right here, in this scenario, if we just isolate our exponents, it would be 3 divided by 1. So a is 3, b is 1, and that's the same thing as uh, the log of 3 minus 1, which is 2. But I am... Hold on, that was not a good example. Let me just show it in this way. Here, three divided the quotient of 10 to the third and 10 to the first is equivalent to 10 to the three minus one. This logarithm is showing that this subtraction equals the quotient here when we're dealing with exponents. Sorry about that side example, that was not helpful. All right, thank you.